Cryptocurrency mining has caused a massive boom in the industry of gaming graphics cards to the point where they're now sold out and the prices of currently available GPUs have gone through the roof. Quick response if you guys want to Jay's Two Senses video is that yes, he does make a valid point. It does suck if you're a person getting into PC gaming and you can't get one of these graphics cards and you've just saved up. But uh, on the other side of the fence, it is a free market and not everyone can win all the time. Though instead of uh, making a video complaining about the issue, I'm just gonna offer you guys some simple solutions and help you guys get through this sort of out of stock apocalypse. Now I will say one thing before we get on with the video is that currently stock in the US is where the problem exists. In the UK and in Australia, for example, GTX 1060s are still readily available and you can buy them at pretty good prices. And what about the higher end GTX 1080 Ti's? Well, in Australia, for example, there's currently a sale on at the moment on eBay where you can get a 1080 Ti for around 900 Australian dollars, which is actually a really good price for a card with an aftermarket cooler installed. Though, of course, what are some of these solutions? Let's find out. Welcome back to Tech. Yes, it is Brian coming to you guys today. And first up, if you are in America and you want to buy a new graphics card or you want to buy a new gaming PC, there currently are two things available in stock when I did a quick search. GTX 1080 for 560 US dollars. Not too bad of a price. Also a 1050 currently in stock for around 140. Now, of course, they are a little bit more expensive than they usually go for. But I guess in this current market, you just have to take what you can get. Also, if you sign up to auto email lists on Newegg, for example, you can get notified as soon as the graphics cards are back in stock and get one at retail price. Not only can you do that, but you can also check daily on Amazon, just refresh quickly for one minute, check if some graphics cards that you want to get are back in stock, and then pull the trigger if you want to get one of those at the said good price. Alternatively though, if you want to build a new PC, then you may wish to go with a pre-built system that includes a keyboard and mouse, for example, the CyberPower PCs. I know tech deals raves on about how good value for money they are, and in this market, they're even better value for money with DDR4 RAM prices being sky high and also graphics cards being out of stock. So that is an option, $760 roughly for a PC with an RX 580 installed, and then also for around $1,700, you can get a full 8700K top of the line rig with the GTX 1080. So yes, you will generally pay a premium as opposed to building it new, especially if you're used to getting deals when you buy those new parts. But as I said before, this is not a bad solution in the current market. Though of course, if you are into price performance, here is another solution I'm gonna to propose to you, especially around this channel tech, yes city. We love to look into used price performance where there is extremely good value for money. And for instance, if I pull up Gumtree, right nearby me, there is a GTX 780, which will be absolutely fine for 1080p gaming. And not only that, it performs very similar to a GTX 1063 gigabyte model. Now this is 180 Australian dollars, which would be like 150 USD. Now, now I guarantee you that I could put in an offer of around 150 Australian dollars, which would be like 120 US dollars, and I'd probably get the deal done. So that kind of performance for that money is really good. Now, if you are in other parts of the world and this is affecting you, especially the DDR4 memory pricing, another solution is to go over to AliExpress. Now I've used AliExpress a lot and I haven't been burned once. And that's actually better than eBay. Uh, so the sellers, of course, it does take a little while to get things shipped to your door, but currently there is a really good combo on a motherboard, a CPU, a six core 12 threaded uh, Sandy Bridge Xeon, which is overclockable, 16 gigabytes of DDR3 memory for $330 shipped to your door. I've actually ordered one of these because I'm gonna do a video on it and test it, but a lot of the viewers out there, they tell me this is a really good combo, especially for the money. So if you wanna build a really good PC, you can get this, a $30 cooler, which I've actually already tested, and you'll get really good price performance for your money. Though of course, solutions don't just stop there. You can get those used OEMs, which generally come with a Windows license, a four core Sandy Bridge CPU, eight gigabytes of DDR3 memory. They go from 100 to $200. Sometimes you can get them even cheaper. Just chuck in a GTX 1050 and you're good to go in terms of 1080p gaming. Anyway guys, when it comes down to it, there are solutions. You've just got to spend a little bit of extra time and look for the best options available. There generally are always options available. You've just got to hustle. Now with the used PC price market, especially the Gravis cards, they're generally anti-miner. Miners generally don't want to get these Gravis cards 
because they use a lot more power than say the latest 10 series cards. And of course with that they produce more heat, which is hard to keep under control if they've got to put it in an aircon environment and they've got 10 or 20 of these used graphics cards going. They generally want to go for the new graphics cards where they can purchase 10 plus or 20, 30 graphics cards at a time and set them up with these. As opposed to the used graphics cards, they'll have to run around all around a certain suburb and chase up all these deals and of course that being a convenience problem for people who generally want to make money out of cryptocurrency. And I've been accused as well of being part of the problem and actually I would say I would counter argument that and say that no, I used review samples mainly to check out what's going on with cryptocurrency, gain an understanding of it. And in that time I went from being relatively a naysayer of cryptocurrency to supporting blockchain technology. And with that, over the last year, I have built a lot of used price performance PCs on the channel, sold them to people who aren't fortunate enough to go out and build a new PC, and they're getting extremely good value for money. So please, if you're in the comments and you're accusing me of that bullshit, you need to stop, buddy. Anyway, in terms of doing my part for the PC gaming community, I always do and I always will. I'm always on the side of the gamer. It's just in this case, I do believe in blockchain technology. I do believe in cryptocurrency. And of course, the money that I've made from cryptocurrency is supporting my channel, which I so very much love. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button and let me know in the comments section below if you have any solutions of your own. And also on that note, I do believe the uh, DDR4 RAM prices to me, that's much more of an issue than the graphics cards. Graphics cards are constantly being put back in stock and they're coming back in at retail prices. The DDR4 thing is um, a big fishy issue to me. I think there's a lot of funny buggers going on behind the scenes, things like price fixing, because it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. They run these excuses and we have seen this in the past with RAM numerous times. And in the past, there's just been some excuses that didn't make sense at all. So. I think that's a problem and of course I have provided a solution to that in this video. All the links for the products that I've talked about will be in the description below. So you get yourself back on top or you can tell a friend, look, these are some solutions to get into PC gaming if you're having trouble at the moment. And I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.